G'day lawnies, welcome back to the channel. Today we are out in the backyard doing a plant growth regulator application of Astro and also we're going to apply some green extra with it for a bit of kick because it uh, can discolour slightly being this is my first application for the iron cutter so obviously go a lower rate, I'll get into that in a minute some more and also we'll be out the front doing one on the Tahoma which is currently sitting at 9 mil so let's get into it. Alrighty Lawnies, so yeah, as I mentioned before, we are doing a plant growth regulator application. So Astro 120 out the back here. Um, we'll be doing probably four mil per 100 square meters, being that it has never seen uh, PGR this season, being it's only a fresh lawn. So we're just gonna tighten up and slow that growth down. So I'll show you a picture over the top here in a second, just to show you what PGR does. Um, it doesn't make it spread laterally, a um, bit of a misconception but look you know it's just going to tighten up those nodes and create more shoots and thicken up so it gives that sense of making it you know move lateral but it actually doesn't just thickens up that canopy and you know really tightens it up and makes it stronger so it doesn't send all that I guess energy into going vertical and more just actually thickening up what's there so that's what we're going to do We'll get down four mil and then we'll also get at the front on the Tahoma, which is currently at nine mil and we'll do the exact same. Obviously don't do this if your lawn is under severe stress or has quite a few bare patches because obviously it's gonna take longer to recover, but we'll get into it. Let's go. My first application, obviously, yeah, gonna stay low at four mil um, per 100 squares. And I do like to use a syringe because it's a lot easier for me to track how much I need. So that one's done, beautiful. And then because it's his first application, it can actually yellow off the leaf a little bit. So that's why we're gonna be using some green extra. So give it a good hit of nitrogen and iron. Um, so this here is 250 mil per six liters of water. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go probably about 375 mil of this. We'll give it a full rate of it. Really make this thing pop. Alrighty, so yeah, we're all done now. We've got our, got our Astro, our PGR in there. We've got our green extra in. So we are all sweet, ready to go. Let's get into it. So there is a couple of things I want to touch on regarding the PGR. So that is, it doesn't have to get watered in. So I've mixed it with my green extra, so they're both foliar applications. So you are perfectly fine to leave them on the leaf. Uh, make sure you read the label though. Obviously you don't want to get any water on for a certain amount of time. I think it's about four or five hours potentially. And obviously, you know, you don't want to be mowing right before you do this as well or right after. So always best to read your labels. So we are back out the front this time now. And once again, four mil per 100 square meters. I've got half of that, so I'm gonna go about one, probably 1.75 or 1.8. It's gonna be really difficult. It's gonna be really, really difficult to get this amount here, but we'll sort of see how we go. It's literally gonna be that much there, so. Probably could have used my little tube, but look, it was literally a bee's whisker. That is all that went into it. So that's all done. And then green extra, we've got about 100 mil of that. And we'll be once again sweet to get this going.
So the PGR's all down now, that's gonna stop our vertical growth and it's gonna really tighten up the uh, nodes there on the uh, plant, so you're gonna see it really thicken up. Obviously such a low rate, it's not gonna be massive, but you need to start at a lower rate. You can't just pump it in as the plant has to get used to it. So yeah, don't go full bore and send it at the highest rate straight away. It's definitely not ideal. So make sure yeah, you wean it onto the plant um, and it should be fine. Also another thing is how are you gonna track when to reapply this? Obviously we're coming towards the end of summer so there's not gonna be too many more applications, but you track it by your growing degree days or your GDD. So that is something that Syngenta have on their website. It's actually a really good calculator that they do. You just punch in your location um, and I'll put it up on this screen here for you. But look, you know, you punch in your location and it sort of tells you day by day. And so I look to reapply around 200 to 250 days. So as you get close to 200 degree, growing degree days, then you look for your next window when to reapply. So you don't want to fall it out because then it get a real big shot of growth. Um, so you want to keep it in once you've got it on. So you want to keep it in that range of, you know, being suppressed. You don't want to let it get out of that. So that's another thing to make sure you guys check out. Growing degree days for when to reapply. And for me, I'm looking to reapply around 200 to 200 days. So yeah, make sure you check that out. All right, guys. So now we're going to wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed this one. Obviously, um, PGR is a fantastic product to use because it can really help your lawn in more ways than one just by stopping on the vertical growth and by really thickening up your lawn it's going to be so much more beneficial to it so definitely worth checking out if you haven't already um, but yeah look thanks for watching guys we'll catch you next time